I hope so. Yeah, I think it's great when any nation gets on board with playing women's test cricket. Um, you know, we're, we're not quiet about the fact that we do want to play more of it and hopefully those opportunities are going to come around more. But um, yeah, anytime we play against India, it's always a great contest. And we saw that in 2014 at Wormsley. Um, you know, it's the first time they played test cricket in a, in a long time. So um, the fact that they beat us just goes to show that we, you know, we're not going to um, take anything for granted in this format. And it's going to be hopefully a hard four, four days. Yeah, I've not I thought about that, so thanks for drawing that to my attention. Um, you know what, it's a big year for everyone, I think, especially with the, on the back of the pandemic. Um, we've probably not had, had as much cricket as we would have liked over the last six or seven months. Um, not sure anyone has got the privilege to sit here and say that they have had a lot of cricket either. So um, it's nice the fact that we've got a lot of cricket back-to-back -back coming up. You know, we've got the 100 after this, we've then got New Zealand coming over, the tour to Pakistan, and then we go into an Ashes and another World Cup. So... Um, I've kind of always said that that's the way that we should have the women's game. We need to be playing more. Um, I've always said our ratios of training to playing have been quite heavily weighted towards the training side. So it's nice that we've actually got a lot of cricket to play and a lot of cricket to look forward to. Um, so, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it, to be honest. And hopefully some opportunities come up and I get the opportunity to stick my hand up and help the team win some games. Um, I'm not going to say it's exciting because it's not. It's always a worry when you've got people, you know, working hard to take your spot. Um, but it's great for the team. It's great for our environment. And I think it just goes to show how important those regional contracts are now. Um, and that Rachel Hayhoe Flint trophy that obviously started last year, the fact that Tash was able to um, have performances in that and, and get selected and come over and play in New Zealand. And um, it, it was quite an easy transition, which I think in the past we've, we've kind of had to, not in bed, players into the squad but I think it can be sometimes difficult to um, move from county cricket to international cricket whereas now I feel that that transition is a lot easier um, and it's great for the likes of Emma Arlott she's you know put a hand up in that Rachel Hayho for the first three rounds and she's here with us this week and um, hopefully she you know it's going to be a great experience for her to be around as well and I think it just goes to show the depth that we've got in the country with in terms of seamers and not just seamers as well we've got a lot of people knocking on the door which is really nice yeah both bowling really well um, I think Em's, it's, it's quite exciting to see Em, you know, she's a, a tall, fast bowler, which you don't see that often in the women's game. So, you know, she kind of hits a bit of a harder length than a lot of us do, which is exciting to see. And she's obviously got that extra bit of pace. Um, sorry, someone's wheeling some lunch around. Um, and Tash Barron, obviously, just, you know, she's very, very naturally good at swinging the ball. So that offers something different as well with the left arm option. So um, it's exciting to have those options in the squad. And um, I'm not sure what the theme's going to be, but um, obviously, if you, you're playing a test match, you need your bowlers to stand up and take 20 wickets over four days. So hopefully we've got the depth in the squad to be able to do that. I remember a lot of LBWs in one day. Um, do you know what? That, I actually think I can remember the test Perth match more than I can remember the, the, the India one. But um, no, I, just, I remember it being quite hard for, and I remember we probably went into that game a bit naively, thinking that we've played more test cricket than India had in that you know, in the four or five years leading up to that. So um, I think it was probably a good leveler for us that, you know, they they came out and played really hard for cricket and, and beat us quite convincingly, actually. So I think it just, you know, goes to show that even though we don't play the format a lot, there's still um, nothing that you can take for granted, I guess, and preparation is key. And um, we've trained really hard over the last, well, seven or eight weeks, you know, we've put a lot of time in when we came back from New Zealand. So... And um, yeah, well, I think we're all feeling good and ready to go.